happy Monday. I don't feel good at all. Last week I feel like I was actively trying to not admit that I don't feel well. It's Monday and I'm ready to admit that I don't feel good. Um, but I've been super productive over the weekend as well as today. Um, I just finished filming content. I think I'm done filming content for today outside of, of course, my weekly vlog, which is what we're doing here, obviously. I don't have a figure, which is a good thing, but your girl is still not feeling 100%. And dare I say, I'm really proud of the amount of work that I've done at not feeling 100%. Also very random, but not because I just walked into my office where I've got my incense burning. But I just got new incense in. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I only use um, incense from one brand. And it's called, it's by Frank Soul. And he uses like resin incense and it's amazing. It makes my entire house smell so good. So I have that burning right now. So let's talk about the things that I've done so far today. Why are we talking about this? Because I just need to sometimes remind myself that I'm awesome and amazing, even when I don't feel like it. So, um, Friday I taught a class. That's when I started to not feel great the, around that Thursday, Friday area. Um, <clears throat> Saturday I spent all day sewing and recording a sew along, uh, for my summer pattern. I thought I was going to be able to be finished in time to actually shoot it, but I wasn't. Sunday, I was like literally hacking at my lung and I was like not going to church and potentially infecting people. Sunday, I did shoot the cover for my summer pattern. We're saying a prayer that I don't have to reshoot. Then I also shot content for this Young King collection for my son. And I also included my daughter because I feel like it's a really versatile hair product. So I did that. Um, I planned out the content for this week. Um, and this morning I got up, felt not great, not excellent. And I shot the intro to my spring pattern because my sewing was already done. I just need to do the intro and the outro and my designer notes. So I did that first thing this morning. Then I also recorded today's YouTube, well, I guess Monday's YouTube video. And then, um, yeah, and I uploaded that and set the premiere. So I have not edited my weekly vlog. I did not edit last week's vlog, so I've got to edit that and get that published. That'll be published Tuesday of this week. My goal is to really actually have that published on Sundays, but whatever. We're going to we're gonna publish the content that we have whenever we get the opportunity to because I don't feel well and we're doing the best that we can. And then I just finished shooting content for TikTok. Um because I had to shoot some some stuff for that so right now I'm going to go through and edit the content for TikTok as well as Instagram and publish that so yes we're like crushing it even though we don't feel well <laughs> to go live an hour later than intended my office is a mess and y'all I'm genuinely like how am I supposed to sew in there but we're about to make it happen um yeah my favorite thing <laughs> so 
yesterday I published a video on YouTube. One time shout out to my girl Stephanie Canada because she reshared the post to her feed and got me got me way more views than I normally would. So I really appreciate her doing that, but also that opened it up to new subscribers. And I had a, subs a new subscriber tell me that, um, says, I'm a new subscriber and I can tell definitely tell you that I feel you have a great deal to share and offer your subscribers. Having sent a lifetime in instructional strategies, I can tell you that a few distractors has a few distractors one has in a presentation, the more powerful it will be. Respectfully, I would like to share with you that you might want to consider eliminating your nose ring for your presentations. For as good as they are, that ring can become the center of focus rather than the message you are trying to convey. This is definitely not in any way meant to be judgmental, critical, or hurtful, and I hope you don't interpret it as such. You can still be you off camera and still be very successful in making your YouTube appearance and even better and can be getting the full potential of your efforts. So while I appreciate the feedback on that, one of the things that I have always felt was really important with me and all of my brands is that I show up as I am. Um, why? Because I'm a creative person. Yes, I'm also a business coach. Yes, I'm also a mom. Yes, I'm also a sewist. Yes, but here's the thing, like at my heart and in my soul, I'm a creative person and this is how I express myself. I, because I've always felt like the body is, yeah, the body is just a canvas waiting for me to do whatever I want to do with it. Um, and I always feel like, like, I don't any, want anyone to ever look at my channels, look at my anything and be like, oh, it's just for TikTok or it's just for social media, right? Because that's not who I am as a person. Like I'm not a just for, oh, or she acts that way just for, no, because like y'all going to get me as I am, who I am. Like I might not curse as much, right? Because we want the money, we want the monetization. Um, but I'm always going to show up as I am. And I really love, um, I really love my face jewelry. I do. In fact, when I was out in Washington, I was going to go and get another nose ring. <laughs> I was going to have either a piercing right next to this one or I was going to get it pierced on this side. But we had to go. At, one, they didn't accept anything besides cash. And I was like, I don't have any cash on me. But um, I think that we should be free to um, show up in our fullness as we are, even if it is a distraction. Um, and I'm okay with that. If I'm being completely honest, I'm okay with that. Also, because shout out to the Etsy seller that I got this um, septum ring farm. So just a little bit about the reason why I have this septum ring specifically because it goes along with my engagement ring. So this is an amethyst. My engagement ring is an amethyst. My oldest daughter's birthstone is also an amethyst. Um, when I had her, she was the um, she was the turning point for my life. Right. And so I honor her, her presence in that change in my life in everything that I do. And more importantly, when I got engaged, I want her to be a part of that because my husband was not just marrying me. He was also taking my daughter to be his as well. Um, and you know, he has legally adopted her. He fusses at her. He loves her. He does all of the things that he is supposed to as her dad. And, um, so my jewelry tends to honor that in, that relationship and that most importantly that change and that addition in my life because I was on a really destructive path. So a lot of times my jewelry is that reminder for me of where I could have been headed versus where I am now. So um, yeah. Anyway, I'm off to go do this this TikTok live. Y'all say a prayer for your girl that we can make it through because I haven't gone live in like two weeks now. <laughs> And we are recovering from being sick because I'm not speaking that I'm sick into existence. So, um, although I'm not going to lie last night. Um, so for those that don't know, I'm an asthmatic last night. Um, I definitely had some heavy wheezing and my cough was like <sighs> questionable at best. My husband was like, I think you should go to the ER. And I was like, I was this close to being like, you're probably right. Your girl probably need a little, a little steroid shot because these lungs aren't lunging. But this morning 
when we woke up. So we celebrate that because <laughs> it could have gone differently. So we celebrate that. And um, we also celebrate that <sighs> the wheeze is like not wheezing like it was. Like I'm not over here. So I'm like wheezy like I was yesterday. So we celebrate. And we're going to do a quick TikTok live. And um, yeah, because healing is the name of the game today. Stairs because of I still don't feel 100%, but I still feel better than yesterday, especially because of the coughing, which I still have, but not so that it's alarming. But I have a confession to make <clears throat> I had to call my bestie and tell him myself, as a recovering people pleaser. I really pride myself on, on being an A1 customer, right? Y'all like, I like being the best customer. So like when I walk away, people are like, oh man, she was such a great customer. I really pride myself on that. Except for today, because one, I don't feel hundred percent. And two, I went to register my daughter for track. Their system is not working. It's not system. I'm like, y'all had one thing to do. And, um, so I'm frustrated. This lady is talking to me with all these words and I'm just like, I just need like yes or no answers. I, I don't have the space or the capacity for all of these extra words that are being used right now. Right. I just needed to know, but I was trying to provide her with the information for her to tell me yes or no. Because they were talking about birth certificate, money orders in 2024, please. So I was like, listen, let me be clear. It's not attitude, but let me just give you the clarity that I have right now. I'm not leaving here to go get anybody's birth certificate and I'm not going to get a money order. Can I still register? I'm like, I just need to know. Because if the answer is no, then I'm just going to leave and she's not running track. And then I'm going to cancel my son's registration as well, whatever. And I'm going to sell off these uniforms. But if the answer is yes, okay, cool. Then we can move forward. But if the answer is no, we don't need to move forward anymore because I've already, I already know what I'm going to do in my head. Y'all, there were just too many words. It was just too many words. It was just too many words. So anyway, I got her registered successfully. And then I spent an hour and a half sitting in my car because I did not like me out there trying to coach these kids and I already have an attitude. This was not going to work. Anyway, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to edit last week's vlog right now. And we're going to put that up tonight, which I'm very excited about because I don't even remember what I did last week because <laughs> last week was a blur because I'm filled with mucus. Yay.
Good morning. It is Wednesday morning. Um, and yesterday was a bit of a rough night. I haven't been up coughing um, in the middle of the night. Last night I was though. And then this morning I woke up and I saw that the vlogy vlog that I had been working on, I don't know what's going on, but it didn't publish. So I've got to take care of that. Um, but last night I talked to my brother and it was really good. So for those that don't know, I have an older brother. I'm the baby of my family. And I was talking to him like, I don't want to say that I'm happy that he has like, I don't know, like been overseas or whatever, but since he's been overseas, like he and I have had more conversations and we've talked way more than we ever have before. And if I'm being completely honest, that's something that I really love and miss. But I always feel like whenever um, we talk, I do kind of like a stream of consciousness with him. And I don't know why. I think it's just because he's my big brother and I'm not saying I feel like I have to be strong for my husband, but like with him, I know that I can just... Like, I can literally just, not just be me, but, like, I can, like, just be the imperfect version of myself and um, kind of just be myself, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. Um, but um, it was a good conversation, and I was just like, you know, there's a lot of things that I just kind of wish that I was doing and that I'm not and that... Um, you know that I, I want to be doing and that I see myself being better at and good at and like my brother is incredible not that I'm not incredible but like I don't know how to describe it but um, being able to kind of just have that space to just like completely um, just share was really good last night so now this week I really want to focus on well I'm not going to start anything this week because I'm just trying to avoid death this week, to be completely honest, because I, like my cough, like last night, again, I was waking up coughing and it's been pretty bad and I feel like I keep minimizing it because, yeah, I just don't have, I don't have time to go to the doctor. Like, I don't have time to, to, to do that because I'm like, I got to get back into the swing of things, but it's funny because I was talking to my brother about this and he's like... But then, like, I wake up to messages from my mom, like, hey, we have to talk about, like, we have to have a meeting about this cruise. And I'm just like, there's, like, no time off, right? Because, like, I can't afford, I can't afford to take the time to take care of myself because there's so many things that are just solely dependent upon me. Um, and, again, like, I'm a recovering people pleaser. So when people, like, when people come to me with a level of intensity that I've been met with, like, for starters, I'm never doing a giveaway where I have to send anything away ever again. Never, ever, ever. ever. So like if, if I ever do a challenge, just know that they're going to be a virtual prize because I'm never doing that again. The amount of intensity that I was met with from sent, and I didn't know that I was supposed to send this clapper out, but I left last week and, uh, not last week, but the week before last. And I left my husband with three kids and there were some, and like even up until that, like I was in, you know, prep mode because I had a lot happening in person. Anyway, I digress. But y'all, I will never, that will never ever happen for me again. Y'all will never be able to win a prize that I send out ever again. Because I just simply cannot be, I'm not great at mailing things and I simply cannot do the intensity of the amount of times that I've been followed up with for things that I was supposed to mail. Now, I also did, like, make sure that things got in the mail that were neglected because, like, a bunch of stuff had gotten left in my husband's car. Um, I've been having car trouble, so we've been kind of going back and forth, so things kind of got lost in the mix. And we, we're people who typically keep our trunks clear. We don't have a whole lot of stuff in our trunks, so we don't even think to go back there. But, like, yeah, it'll never happen again. Um, anyway, this has been another stream of consciousness, um, but I got to focus on three habits. That I really feel like will be impacting impactful and why do I say three versus one because I like to do things in threes so I'm gonna check to see what's going on with this YouTube video before I go ahead and make some coffee
Okay, so Clayma had her orthodontist appointment. Let's go. And whew, it's right out here. So she had her orthodontist appointment. Went well. Took all of my money. And now <clears throat> we're running to pick up the rest of the kids. And um <coughs> continue the day. So they so they were arguing? Yeah. They're fighting. A video! So that's still there for you. <laughs> Mike, I guess I should have I should have probably asked your mommy if it's okay if you're all up in my weekly vlog. Oh my gosh, why did you snatch it that way? Her. So I'm currently stranded in my husband's car because it broke down in the middle of the road. I have my hazards on, but cars keep pulling up behind me and honking at me because, I don't know, I guess the hazards aren't hazarding, but this is not fun. Not my definition of fun at almost 10 p.m. at night. All right, happy Thursday, friends. I just finished doing my lashes. It's like 10, it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning, and it's the day of my TV show debut. It's also pie day. So um, I was really excited because Miss um, Carol, she sent me a message today and she was like, happy Pi Day. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that I have people who are excited about Pi Day like I am. But I've gone ahead, I washed and detangled my hair because I figured we should have detangled hair for our TV show debut. Um, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous because I just kind of feel like, one, there's just like a whole lot of things just kind of happening in my life right now. Like, as you all saw last night, your girl was straight on the side of the road. Today, I don't have a car. Why? Because my husband took the kids to school, as he should have, get these beautiful children out of my house so that I could focus. Plus, they had to go to school, right? Get their learn on. I love that for them. Um, but if I'm being completely honest, like, I posted something in my Instagram stories today. And, you know, it talks about how you got to get comfortable with change. And, you know, in essence, like, not allowing that to kind of, like, slow you down. And I just kind of feel like that is, I don't even want to say where I am in life right now. Because I kind of feel like that is just my life period. Also, shout out to hair growth, right? Because my hair has grown so much. And am I stressed? A little bit, right? Because I've got this TV show debuting and I'm like, yeah, what am I about to talk about? Like I've got 30 minutes, right? Because they're 30 minute segments, which I honestly feel like is really long enough. Um, Cause it's gonna be me talking for 30, 30 minutes by myself, right? Today we aren't doing like any kind of um, demos. I think that we don't do a demo or we don't do anything specific until um, like week three of it. So up until then, it's me talking to y'all, okay? Um, which honestly is not bad, but I don't know. It, it can be a little nerve wracking, right? 
I started to use this Curl Days Curl Cream. I love it. My ears, like I'm still congested. So that's the other thing, right? Is that your girl is like still not claiming being under the weather at all. Not claiming it. It does not have power over me, y'all. But, um, you know, I'm just saying that we could feel a little bit better. <laughs> right? Like I could stand to have a little less congestion in my chest is, is all I'm saying. That's where I'm going with this. <coughs> um, but we're going to make it pop, right? Um, everything is going to go off without a hitch because I'm speaking it into existence. Um, but yeah, like, I don't want to say that I wish things were different because um, everything happens for a reason. There's a time and a season for everything, right? Um, although I do wish that I brought like a wet washcloth over here with me so I could just be using that because we gotta do makeup now right so that that way things are nice and set in by the time that I've got to uh be live so I just went in with my primer and um yeah so my lashes are already done I did that for a tiktok because I had a tiktok partner send me that Whew, so much better so much better. Um, so I did my lashes on TikTok. Now it's time for me to just go ahead and do my makeup. Y'all, let me see this. So this is the, um, this is by Quir Quirksy, Quirksery. I don't know how to say it. Okay. And this was actually through a TikTok partnership as well, except this TikTok partner got a little handsy by handsy. I mean, they were mad aggressive in my, um, in my DMs, even though I had already posted about this. But, um, they got really aggressive and I hate that they got so aggressive with me because I really, really like this foundation. It is light and it has, it has like the snail, like the snail mucus or whatever that is like super popular and trending in make in beauty right now. And like skincare, it makes it go on so nicely. Um, and I would have loved to work with them further. But one thing about me is I'm not about to be disrespected in my DMs and you're not about to come for me the way that this brand was like uh, talking to me over like a $10 foundation. Um, certainly not. Um, not now, not ever, right? Because we're not, one thing that we're not ever going to do is get away with disrespecting me. Certainly not when the way that I function is with just so much respect. Like I navigate the world with so much respect, but I am using these brushes I got from TikTok shop. They're okay. They're okay. They're not my favorite, but whatever. Um, so I will say that I do like that foundation. My favorite um, concealer is by Colfi Beauty. Their concealer, hands down, it's a self, um, a self setting concealer. So if I set it or not, it's fine. I will be baking it slightly today. Um, not a full bake, also because I can't find my, um, oh, here's my pressing powder sponge. Um, so I'll be using a sponge and this watermelon burst setting powder. Um, but we're gonna go ahead, conceal don't feel, okay? Um, that's all that goes through my head whenever I put on concealer is conceal, don't feel. Yes, from Frozen. Shout out to the parents who were parenting during that phenomenon. Because phenomenon, it was, okay? Also, shout out to the black parents that were parenting during that time and had their daughters who do not have straight hair. Come and tell them that they want flat hair like Elsa, no better way to celebrate your own beauty than to deny it, okay? Um, yeah, that was a super fun time frame in my hand, my family. Okay, so we're blended in. I am gonna take my brush and just blend this out just a little further. Um, and while I do some slight contouring, we're going to bake ever so slightly, just a little bit. And the reason why I'm choosing to bake today is because I, um, even though I put on like a mattifying, um, like primer, 
your girl gets nervous. And when I get nervous, I sweat. So I just want to make sure that as these nerves are jumping, jumping, I'm ready for it, you know? So I'm using also another TikTok beauty product, but I've actually used Colored Rain for uh, years. And I really like their products. Um, and so I'm going to use that to do a slight contour, very slight contour. Um, nothing, nothing crazy because um, I'm a, more of a natural girly, right? Like I'm more of a, this is how I woke up. But also like we can, we can also celebrate definition in face. You know what I'm saying? But also, so. Blend that out. And then just sit down here as well. I feel like on this camera, I look kind of crazy. Just ever so slightly. Now I do need to brush off um, this powder. So that's what I meant by I was just ever so slightly baking, not like a full out bake, right? Like did not leave that on for too long. I'm gonna bring my contour brush back. Okay. I feel like we look snatched, more snatched than normal. Okay, um, I will pause. I'm not gonna do eye makeup today because lashes, why bother? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and literally just with some gel for my eyebrows. I really need to get my eyebrows brushed, I mean threaded. Yeah, it's, it's time, it is time. Um, So anyway, we got to get that done at some point in time, but I don't have a car. So when that point in time is going to be, we don't know. We don't know. When I tell you guys that, like, I would never say that this has been like the most challenging time for me in my life because I have been pregnant and jobless. I have been, um... I, I have dealt with a lot. So I would not say that this is definitely like the hardest time of my life. But I will say that I don't necessarily enjoy doing these challenges in life as a parent, right? Like, um, I will say that like things happen. We know that we don't love that for us and that's fine. But I will also say that it's okay to want a softer living and a softer life. And that's kind of where I am. Um, just where I am, period, in life. And that's honestly what I want. Like, I am, dare I say, tired of... Um, so now we're going to go ahead and highlight. Uh, dare I say that I'm just like ever so slightly over... Um, like just, and I feel like I am obviously doing more than just surviving, right? Because I'm debuting a television show today, but it would be, it would also be really amazing to not feel like I had to, um, be in survival mode so often, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I am really, really lucky because I married someone who is the most insane and amazing man in the world. I'm going to put some in this corner of the eye. And again, this is the highlighter. I feel like my highlighter is not really highlighting. So I think we're going to, let's actually use some eyeshadow then. Um, We're going for a blue, blue, like I've been loving this, but I'm definitely going to hit my lashes, my lower lashes with a little bit of blue. So I think in 
should I do that? No, I think we'll just do this one. I was going to say, oh, I'll do Frosty, but I still don't even know what I'm wearing today. So, um, but again, just hitting, hitting this in here, but I'm also going to be doing my waterline with my favorite tool in the world, which is that, um, it's that waterline fake awake by Tarte Beauty. Y'all, it is so good. So. I love this for me. Time for that tart fake awake. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am just like, I'm in this point in my life where I could really just go for some more soft living. I was talking about this with my, with my brother and he was like, what does that even look like for you? And I was like, dude, I don't even know. I don't even know. So I guess that's where I really need to start is like, what does that soft living even look like like what does it mean for me um how do I identify it you know what I mean so I think today at some point in time I'm using this big timer mascara I don't remember who it's by I got it when I was at Target last but the blue is fantastic and I feel like I'm going to be putting on a good red lip today and I'm one of those people, maybe it's because I was an 80s baby, but I really feel like, um, I really feel like red lip and like blue eye, like whether it's mascara, um, eyeshadow, it gives me life. And if you're looking at me like you're an 80s baby, yes, boo, early 80s at that. Okay. And keep seeing those trends of this is what a 40 year old looks like with no Botox. I don't have Botox. I'll be 41 this year. And honestly, I'm really proud of my age because I, um, I know entirely knew too many people who have not made it to this age and I'm proud of it. I celebrate it. And if we're being completely honest, dare I say, I wear it with badge of honor because I love that. So I feel like I'm just about done getting dressed or rather getting ready. We are going to spray with a little bit of, um, I got a new, um, in my Ipsy, this isn't, oh, this is, oh, I was looking for this. Y'all, this is why you shouldn't have too many bags hanging around. I, okay, so. The final thought before we log off and finish getting ready because I got to go make coffee and I got to outline some stuff. But this milk makeup, I'm not going to say that it's all hype with no performance. What I am going to say is I don't understand the hype. And I don't understand why this little thing was $25. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to leave that there, right? And it's like, oh my God, Veronica, like you're the only person who's ever said that. I don't even care, but here's the thing. They aren't paying me. They didn't send me shit. I bought it on my own. So I'm gonna give y'all the truth, right? I'm gonna keep it real with you. I didn't think it was worth it. I didn't think it was worth it. Um, this is stage proof setting spray. Do I feel like it actually works like stage proof and like it doesn't move? No. I feel like no matter what, like, I'm still over here wiping makeup off accidentally, but whatever. Well, give it another spray just, just for shits and giggles. All right, so there we have that. Fantastic. I'm going to let my hair dry, but I think I'm going to do a little bang sitch. So we're going to have more of this shape. Um, I was reviewing some of my most recent, like, YouTube uh, videos. And so that's the reason why I decided to keep my hair down because those are my favorites. We're going to put on some bamboo earrings because I'm going to run away with the girl. And if you get the reference, I love you. Okay. I love you. Okay. Okay. Video clip. Okay.
Good morning. It's Friday morning. Oh, God. Almost dropped that. TGIF. Time to walk through. Turn off all the kids' lights. The only one who has her light turned off is my oldest. Why does my middle child have croutons in her bedroom? Anyway, so last week's vlog will not upload. Um, I don't know what to say about that, but also I was so excited to put my sweatshirt on that I got from So Expo. It says stay sharp. Isn't that cute? Um, I got it from one of the vendors that were out there. I tried not to shop too much because again, I have not been trying to, um, spend frivolously. You know what I mean? Um, Oh God, that door. I don't know why I was like stuck in that way. So I've been, like I said, I've been more mindful about my spending habits, even though I did do, I did go ahead and buy some new fabrics, but I felt really good about my choices because, um, they will be used for, to promote new patterns, etc. Y'all, yesterday, yesterday was incredible. Start kicking off with that new show. Also, um, one of the other things that I'm like slowly learning, and this is not to say all people on YouTube because we know not all people, um, but I will say that YouTube has probably been maybe not the, the meanest, but people over here on this side of things are not the nicest. I will say that um, there have been a lot of really amazing comments. Don't get me wrong. And I don't want to dismiss the people who are really nice because the people who have been nice have been super nice. And I love that um, last week or rather this week, but when this publishes, it'll be last week. I did a post that was on essentially how to support small businesses, all small fabric businesses because with Joanne's filing for bankruptcy, by the time this, this is posted, I'm not sure if they'll be done with the filing, if they would have navigated all of the things that it means. Um, but I wanted to use my platform to showcase and highlight smaller businesses, specifically women-owned businesses, because one, I am a small business coach, so small businesses matter to me. And two, because it's Women History Month and y'all... Um, it was received, it was received. I think that a lot of people got the point about wanting to share more about, um, small businesses because they matter, right? Because like I said, in that video, when you make purchases from me, when you make purchases from other small businesses, when you watch my content, um, all of that, like it directly impacts someone's life. Whereas when you do it with a larger company and when you do it with a larger organization, like if I make a purchase of fabric or from all the fabric that I purchased from Joann's, right? If you're like, what fabric did you get from Joann's? Definitely go check out that video. The people who work in Joann's or Erin who cut my fabric, she does not see anything from that, right? Like she doesn't get anything from that at all. Um, she doesn't even, like it doesn't affect her bottom line um, for her, her family or anything like that, right? Because that's not how large organizations work. So, um... You know, just encouraging people to shop small. I didn't know it was going to be so inflammatory. I definitely just had someone tell me that I was spitting, spewing crap um, and that I talk too fast. I do talk very quickly, but I'm a New Yorker. I don't know what to do. Like, I've slowed down an awful lot, but... Plus, when I get excited talking about fabric, which I do, talking about fabric and small businesses, like, your girl was excited. So, I talk fast. Anyway, it's Friday. It is a low-key day for me. I do have to drop my car off to go get fixed. My husband keeps harassing me about that. So I've got to do that. Tomorrow I'm teaching a class, but I am also coaching my kids' um, track team, like track practice, or no, track meet. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't want to say that I'm not committed to this track team because I, I do love coaching, but I'm more committed to teaching sewing. So we'll be teaching sewing. I've got two classes Saturday and Sunday. 
and we're going over the Pietra pants that are by Closet Core Patterns, which I'm super geeked about. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and make another pair that I can wear to the studio to teach in. I feel like that is so smart. <laughs> Thank you. 